Okay, in this video, I want to address five common questions regarding to zero. Here we go. First one, is zero a natural number? Well, the answer to this is, it's a yes, and it's also, it's a no. The best answer I can give you is, it depends. And perhaps this is like the best phrase that you can give whenever you are encountering like a hard question or maybe a hard argument. But to be more legit, you have to say it depends on what? This right here, it depends on the convention. It depends on the author of the book. It depends on the creator of the video. <laughs> sometimes when you're doing a number zero or set theory, sometimes the author will say, hey, we'll take zero as a natural number. Sometimes we'll say zero is not a natural number. The best thing for you guys to do is read the first page. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then just follow the convention, right? And hopefully this right here, after this, everybody's still friend, right? We're not going to create too, too much argument on that, right? Anyway. Second one, this is more agreeable. Is zero positive or negative? Well, the answer to this right here is neither. Zero is not positive, zero is also not negative. Well, take a look of the number line. Right in the middle is zero. Anything toward the right, this right here is positive. Anything toward the left, this right here is negative. And zero is right in the middle. And some people will say zero is neutral. I didn't say natural. Zero is neutral. It's not positive and it's also not negative. And another thing that you can say is, check this out. Negative zero, it's the same as zero. And you pass it zero if you would like. So that's it, right? Now, number three. Is zero even or odd? It's both. I'm going to explain. First of all, let me write this down right here for you guys. If I put on zero, I can tell you zero is an even number. And that's it, right? Zero is an even number. My n and u doesn't look right, right? Okay, now that looks much better. First of all, we have to talk about what an even number is, and we have to use the definition. Well, whenever you have a multiple of two, that is an even number. For example, six is the same as two times three. 6 is a multiple of 2 because 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 6 is even. In that case, can we write 0 as 2 times something? Yes, because we know 2 times 0 is equal to 0, so 0 is even. That's it. But what did I say? It's both. Now, check this out. If you are talking about the function, let's say f of x is equal to 0, and we are talking about the constant function 0, in that case, I can say 0 is both even and odd as a function, right? First of all, what makes an even function an even function? Take a look right here. What we do is f and you enter negative x into here. Well, the, out the output is always equal to zero, so it doesn't really matter what the input is. So when you have f of negative x, this right here is equal to zero, and that's the same as the original. See, f of negative x is equal to f of x, so that makes this an even function. Similarly, if you check f of negative x, can we write this as negative 0? Sure, because technically I shall do this. This is equal to 0 like that, but we know 0 is equal to negative 0, and of course 0 is f of x, so we can write this as negative f of x. And because of this, it makes this an odd function. So this is pretty cool. So <laughs> as a function, it's both even and odd. And I can also tell you, one is even as a function because you have a horizontal line. And also tell you guys, when you graph that function, you're pretty much just looking at f of x equal to zero as y is equal to zero like this. So this is the zeroth function. If you flip hori uh, horizontally, you will turn it 180 degrees. You see the nice symmetry. So it's both even and odd. Very nice. Now, number four. Does zero have any divisors, aka factors? Yes, a lot of them. Infinitely many of them. I will just tell you guys, I'll put it uh, right here. Yes. In fact, as I said, infinitely many factors or divisors. 
Well, why? Because check this out. To make a factor of a divisor of a certain number, if you look at 6 again, 6 is the same as 2 times 3. Yep. So we can say 2 and 3, they are factors of 6, or 2 and 3, they are divisors of 6. That's good. But now, take a look of 0. We can write 0 as 2 times 0. So 2 is a divisor of 0, right? So we have 2 right here. And of course, we can also write 0 as 1 times 0. So 1 is a divisor as well. And of course, you can write 0 as, let's say, 17 times 0. So 17 is a divisor of 0. So you can see this right here keeps on going. You have infinitely many divisors. In fact, all the natural numbers <laughs> are divisors of 0. So that is also pretty cool. Finally, can I divide it by 0? I cannot, you cannot, he cannot, she cannot, nobody cannot, right? So unfortunately, no. But remember this though. Let me tell you, whenever we have 0 divided by some number, right, as long as the bottom is not 0, this right here is equal to 0. This is the jet. But when you have some number divided by 0, unfortunately, no matter what you do, you can never get the answer out of it. There's no answer for it. For example, take a look of this right here. If you are trying to say 1 divided by 0, well, what do you think what the answer is? If you said the answer is equal to 17, the moment you multiply both sides by 0, and you will see that you get 1 is equal to 0, and that's really bad. This right here, 1 over n is equal to 0. Can we multiply both sides by n and make this legitimate? Yeah, they cancel, and you have 0 is equal to 0. That's really legit. But we cannot do it when 0 is on the bottom. Too bad. So whenever this right here doesn't work, there's no answer for it. We'll just say this right here is undefined. And of course, we're not talking about limit whatsoever. This is just some arithmetic, right? So we're not talking about like being infinity whatsoever. So this is undefined. There's no answer for it. We cannot divide it by 0. If you want to divide it by 0, I don't know what will happen. Anyway, so that's pretty much it in terms of the zero, uh, the non-calculus types of the questions. And again, we are not talking about calculus or limits for this one, so don't get too excited or don't get too crazy about this. And uh, that's it. It's just a quick video. And hopefully you guys all like it. If you guys have more interesting facts about zero, no calculus related, then leave a comment down below and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, that's it.